Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. Doing a makeup look. So this is a chit chat, get ready with me. We're on a very big time limit here. I am about, to, I'm saying I, we are about to head out to do yet another pop-up shop, but we're leaving early because the drive we have to make is to Lafayette, Louisiana, and it's going to be a little over an hour drive to get there. So the pop-up shop starts at one o'clock, so we need to get on the road on our way to Lafayette by 11 because I believe setup begins at 12 o'clock. So I want to get there as early as I possibly can. Plus, I do have to make one stop before we get on the road. So we're going to do this chit-chat, get ready with me. I am going to show you some of the items that we currently offer on VAM Cosmetics. Um, so I always link VAM Cosmetics website in the bottom of the description box. So again, I will have that um, website for you. And I'm going to showcase some of the items that we currently offer. So we're going to go ahead and get started. As always, I do have my handy dandy mirror with me. So let's go ahead. Let's get started with primer. We do not offer a primer at the moment. So one of my favorite primers, I'm almost out of this primer and I just got this. Um, this is from Too Faced. It is the primed and poreless um, face primer. So I'm starting with Too Faced today. I want to go with a matte look or right, be as matte as I possibly can because um, this event is being heavily advertised in the Lafayette area. Um, so this will be my first time bringing VAM Cosmetics to Lafayette, Louisiana, going outside of the realm of where I am usually am, which is here in Baton Rouge or at my flea market booth in uh, Prairieville, Louisiana. So pretty known in two parishes. So we're getting ready to expand to three parishes. So and then I got hit up to do another pop up shop. Ooh, in the dream city, I've wanted to go in with Fam Cosmetics, which is New Orleans. So New Orleans is the largest city here in Louisiana, and I've been wanting to go there. But how to get in there, it is a completely different licensing and everything just to do, um, just to be out vending, doing big events like Essence Fest, like Bayou Classic, like all of the basketball and football games with either the Saints or with the Pelicans and stuff like that. It's extremely different. And I guess it's different because, you know, New Orleans is a large city. So we want to start with this today. So yeah, I was asked to do this event when we did the last pop-up shop, um, I was contacted by a lot of people um, to do a pop-up shop. And this was one of them um, that I agreed to do. Um, so, yeah. So, you want to get yourself out there and get yourself expanded, go right ahead. And this is an opportunity to really get Family Cosmetics throughout Louisiana. Um, if you're not aware, um, our, some of our makeup products are currently on web, um, Walmart's website. Um, so I have been placing orders, getting orders from the Walmart website to me. Um, like as of right now, I have an order I need to ship off for Walmart. So I'm going to ship that order off uh, in the morning. Today's Sunday. So I don't go. All right, so I got that worked into the skin. It's one of my favorite primers for foundation. Of course, I'm going to showcase VAM Cosmetics. Here it is. The shade I am using today is F44. Here it is. The shade I am usually in, which is F42. That shade is currently sold out, but by the time this video goes up, the shade will be restocked. I'm just waiting for my new inventory to come in, and F42 is one of them. That is a very popular shade, uh, particularly at my flea market booth. It's very popular. And and it sold out on my website so I can get away with also wearing shade f44 as well um, so again if you're not familiar with our foundation it is a soft matte um, foundation our foundation is medium to full coverage and it is best applied with a brush um, so I have tried this I've had others try out the foundation um, and everybody everybody I have gotten nothing but good comments about my foundation but i appreciate everyone that has purchased our foundations 
one of them was my classmate. I saw her order come in and I was like, oh my goodness. I was a little nervous, you know, but she messaged me. She, I love the foundation. It is a dead on uh, match and she absolutely loves it. So I appreciate that so, so, so much. And I had a young man um, at my last um, vendor event he bought a foundation and he literally was comparing my foundation to Fenty. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm not trying to step on my toes. And he was like, I love this. And again, he was complimenting my uh, foundation. So our foundation does have slight scent. This is a 12 hour wear foundation, soft matte. So any foundation you want to uh, compare that's also a soft matte foundation that would be the new NARS foundation soft matte means it's not completely matte matte but it's more of a common it's more so matte than hydrated very comfortable on the skin this will last 12 hours of course you know I don't expect people to wear makeup for t over 12 hours I mean I know it happens sometimes you know very easy to blend. If you want to build it to full coverage, you can. Um, if you're new to my channel, I know I got a lot of new people on my channel. Um, I'm not really into super full, full, full coverage foundations. I know a lot of people are. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to build it up just a little bit more. Again, I'm not into super heavy full coverage foundation, but again, if you want to build it to a full coverage, you can. I'm just gonna put some right around my mouth area. I say I'm not gonna build it up too, too, too much because I still like to have like a natural finish. Okay. What's wrong? Okay. I can't find none of my things. Okay. 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 All right. All right. So that is what F44 looks like. This is more of a warm tone foundation shade. Um, maybe a, li a sh little more on the orange side, a little more warmer. Um, F42 is more of a neutral golden undertone that balances out really well. And because I have a little yellow in my skin, that's why I can go with F42 or something with a neutral, cool, neutral golden undertone. I can get away with that. If it's too warm, I am going to look like a busted cherry. <laughs> so anything that is too warm on me it's not going to work on my skin at all. Now, some warm tones do work, not the majority of them. They do not. Okay, so we're going to go on with concealing. So with uh, concealer, I am going in with my um, CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Uh, this is the shade Amber. So I'm going in with that today. It's one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I should say the favorite drugstore concealer for me. My favorite high-end concealer, if you're new to my channel, it is that I just scraped the bottle yesterday on it. That is the Fit to Beauty Concealer. I have literally begun scraping the concealer. So I know for a fact I need another one because I am literally had to dip in it and I'm hardly picking up product. I have used it just that much so i'm going to take my sponge and i'm going to blend that out my sponge is uh damp so i'm going to go ahead and take that and i'm going to go ahead and blend it out but i'm taking some of that concealer and put it on my eye to form my eyeshadow base and i am forming my reverse contour so 
So this concealer, if you're not familiar with the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, this is a very full coverage concealer. That's why I don't I like to dot it on because I don't want to do too, too, too much with it. But it's very, very blendable and gives a lot of coverage. And it really does a good job with my under eyes as well as a very good eyeshadow base for me. Um, but it really does. This is one of these concealers. It doesn't get into my creases and it doesn't settle. So I really do like that. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the eye. That's the one thing about it though, you have to be careful with this concealer if you go with this shade because this is a lighter shade. Now I do have another shade, Caramel. Then I also do use Caramel as well. But since I'm doing a, if I really want my reverse contour to show, then I will use this shade, Amber. I find myself using Amber a lot. And then if I don't use Amber, I will use Caramel, which is a little darker. Caramel still gets the job done. Caramel is definitely more of a neutral shade. Make sure you get some of those edges blended as well. There we go. So see, I have that contour forming. It's that reverse contour. So I have that going for me right now. All right. So next, for those of you that are new to my channel, you know I set my face twice. So I'm going to demonstrate for you guys our two setting powders that we currently have at the moment. So the first setting powder, it is, of course, me, Vam Cosmetics. Here it is. This is our translucent um, setting powder. So I'm going to start with that and this gives a beautiful finish uh, to this skin. This is what our translucent powder looks like. So I'm going to dip that in, take that off because I don't need that. I do bake but for no more than 60 seconds because my under eye is already pretty, it's already bright with this um, concealer. I don't need it any, I don't need it brighter. And I'm also trying to stay as mad as I possibly can because I know um, we're going to be moving around a lot today. All right, so I am going to take my powder brush and I'm now going to sweep the powder off. Give me more of a smooth under eye finish. Make sure my forehead is not too shiny. And I do try to leave, now with this being that F44 is a shade darker for me. Um, a little warm, too warm tone for me, a little warm tone. Um, I do, I will leave the powder on a little more than 60 seconds to try to bring some of my color back, but still not look powdery or cakey either. This is a very comfortable setting powder, um, leaves a beautiful finish. So if you pounce it into your skin, it's going to leave a very good finish. Again, this is a long lasting uh, setting powder and you won't be disappointed. So for our second setting powder, still sticking with me, Vam Cosmetics, here we go. This is our medium deep uh, loose setting powder. And here it is. This is what our medium deep powder looks like. Now for this, I'm going to put this all over the face. So I just dip my brush into it. This is a very good color. I am going to take the excess off because I don't need that much. I'll put it in my little four corners here. 
and I'm going to buff it into my skin. Because again, I do want to stay as matte as I possibly can because I do know I'm going to be moving around quite a bit today. I'm also taking some of that excess powder to set the concealer. And here we go. So we've got that into the skin. Our setting powders are currently available on our website as well as on Walmart's website. Our concealers, concealer, our setting powders are $8 each. And coming soon, um, we will be releasing more setting powders. I do uh, plan on releasing a banana powder. So the banana powder is coming and we're going to have some setting powders with glitter. So if you are one of those that like that glow in your setting powders, we do have our glow setting powders coming out soon. Um, for bronzer, I'm going to stick with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Coco Naughty. So I'm going to do that. I'm actually about to start hitting pan on Coco Naughty. I use this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Right, so I'm going to bronze up my skin. Get some more of that back. I got a hole in cocoa. I got a hole in cocoa. Because I love this powder. I absolutely love this. I started to wear the NAR, the new NARS bronzer, but I'm like, no, I'm stick with what I know. I'm stick with what I know. All right, so I got my uh, bronzer on. So next um, is blush. Um, so with blush, of course, we're sticking with me, Vam Cosmetics. This is our Reds Blush Palette. So I'm gonna go with me today. Again, showing all you guys what we currently have. This is what our blush palette looks like. If you're not familiar with it, it is four quads along with a mirror. And our blush palettes are very pigmented. You need just a little bit. It is currently available on both my website and on Walmart's website for $10. So I'm going to go in with the deep burgundy shade right here. You need a little bit. See how much product you pick up. Take the excess off. Trust me, you want to do that. And I'm just going to put it on my cheek. So when I'm at my flea market booth, I do wear my makeup. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, adding your mask. Yeah, that's Moran's over there. She can't be quiet with all them thousands of things she got on there. <laughs> Her day off and she's coming with us to Lafayette. <laughs> all right, so we got our blush on there. We don't have a highlighter palette just yet, but we will be releasing highlighter next year. There we go. That's what our blush looks like that's this shade here very good with our skin tone particularly see let me tell y'all these lighter two at the top boy y'all better be careful i'm warning you you need a little bit because when i mean color you're going to get color don't say I didn't warn you because <laughs> so I wanted something that will bring a lot of color. And I know a lot of people like um, pigments in their blushes and highlighters and so forth. That has a lot of pigment. So I warn you, be careful. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use two eyeshadow palettes. The first eyeshadow palette, this is the NYX Ultra Edit um, Mini Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to go in with that today. I'm going to put on... I said I was going to do that purple shade. Yeah, I'm going to stick with what, with what I initially said I was going to do. I'm going to do the purple. 
So I do like the purple in here. So I'm going to do the little the purple shade that's in this little palette here. This purple shade is, is very, very pigmented. See? I'm going to go with the purple. I'm going to put that into my crease. And a little bit above, close to the brow bone. Because I kind of want to blow this out. So that's what I'm doing, trying to blow it out. And then drag it right here. Yeah. Just so. All right. That worked out good. So I'm going to dip into this purple shade again. And bring it right here. I'm going to try and get it as close up to my brow bone, try to blow it out. There we go. Here without adding no additional product. I don't want to add any more product because it's not really about, I want it to have a matte shade in my crease because I want to show off my eyeshadow palette, which is what I'm going with next. This is from, of course, me, Vam Cosmetics. We have 12 shimmer shades currently in this eyeshadow palette. Why, thank you. Um, but I am releasing a neutrals eyeshadow palette next month just in time for the Christmas holidays So look out for our new neutrals eyeshadow palette. It will have matte shades and uh, shimmer shades in here All right. So I'm going in with my eyeshadow palette our eyeshadow palette is currently available for $12 both on my website and on Walmart's website um, so I'm going to go in with the purple shimmer that is right here. Again, we've received nothing but compliments on our eyeshadow palette. Like, they absolutely. And I've had a repeat customer. I get so many people asking me where I got the eyeshadow palette from. And I always tell them I got it from you. And they cannot believe the amount of color that comes out of this palette. So with the purple... So if you're one of those people that love a cut crease, I'm going to tell you about our shimmers. You just really, you don't need to spray your brush to get shimmer because it's plenty of shimmer in our palette. Plenty of pigment as my son stands right in front of me. So just with that one, see how much color you get with our shimmer? You get a lot of color. I have a hole in it. I have been in it quite a bit. Where'd she go? I don't know. They don't have to be part of the video for the comedy that they're bringing. You have a whole conversation in that hallway. All right. See? Again, you don't need to spray your brush. This gives more than enough color. All of the shimmers give you color. As you can see, I've been playing in quite a bit of them. So my palette is a little bit of a mess. That goes to show you this palette is very well loved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back with this brush. And I'm going to blend the two together. Make it a little more put together and refine it. And I'm blowing it the shimmer in with a matte. Okay. 
And I want to make it uh, softer is what I'm going for. If you're new to my channel, I only do two shades. If I feel a little frisky, then I'll do a halo eye. This is just not one of those days I'm going to do a halo. <laughs> All right, so we got that in. And as you can see, our purple shimmer shade, it is very much so very vibrant. And it is very much so popping. And you cannot miss it. So if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette with shim that shimmers with a lot of color, check out my Violet's eyeshadow palette. So next I'm going to set my face. So I'm going to set my face with the Morphe setting spray. Right. I'm trying to creep. <laughs> oh, I'm out of this one. Glad I got another can. <laughs> so this one be going in the trash. Trash. Yeah, I have another one in the back. So you want to throw this away? It's empty. Throw it. <laughs> yeah. See what I get for listening for my son? He missed. <laughs> I was about to say, I like, yeah. Oh, in other words, she just walked over and got it. I, I should be that. Oh, damn. Right. So I'm going to put on our hoop earrings. Our hoop earrings um, we offer for $5. If you're interested in these silver hoop earrings, please leave a comment. They're currently not on my website and they're not on my clothing boutique website. Um, I only sell these either at my flea market booth or like today at the pop-up shop. I'll sell them. But we do have other jewelry on my clothing boutique. I'll put my clothing boutique in the bottom of the description box. So that is vamclothingboutique.com. So I got that. All right, so next is mascara. So I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I'm going to go in with that today. So if you're new to my channel, no, I am not a lash person. I try to put mascara on my bottom lash. I do not have a lot of bottom lashes. I have a lot of top lashes. There we go. I try to give my bottom lashes a little sub sub because I don't have no bottom lashes at all. None. Last is lip. Now let me tell y'all about our lip products. I cannot tell you the amount of compliments we've gotten on our lip products. And if you bought a lip product from me, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I have had to restock my lip products several times. I have an order I need to ship now. This lady bought out the rest of my liquid lipstick shade, Dark Chocolate. It is one of our best sellers between that one and Chocolate Cream and our Clear Lip Gloss, um, our Creamy Matte Lipstick that's in the bullet form, Berry. A lot of people have checked that out. I am down to the last one. And the lip gloss I'm putting on today, I've had to restart this one because everybody loves it. So our lip gloss I'm putting on today, this is the shade Grape Juice. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty dark, but it is a sheer kind of lip gloss, but it lasts a long time. Our lip glosses does contain coconut oil, so I know some people don't like scents in their lip glosses. And this is of a sticky consistency. Now let me explain to you about the sticky consistency. When you have a lip gloss that's sticky, that's all it means is it's, it's um, long lasting. Like a matte liquid lipstick, this is a lasting lip gloss. So if you want something that's going to last you, your, our lip glosses will last you a long time. Or not just mine or just any other brand that has a sticky consistency. That's just showing you that the, the longevity of how long the lip gloss will last. That's all it is. All right, so I'm going to put on grape juice. And when I do wear this, I get compliments. 
So our lip glosses and liquid lipsticks are available both on my website and on Walmart's website for $6. There we go. So we're gonna go with that today. That is it with this makeup look. This chit chat, get ready with me. And again, showcasing some of our products that we currently have for VAM Cosmetics. We are getting ready to leave and make this drive to Lafayette, Louisiana for this pop-up shop. So here it is, this is our final, my final look. Ready for the pop-up shop. So again, if you see anything that you like that I have from VAM Cosmetics, Please, I would suggest go to our website, vamcosmetics.com, and make your purchase. Our products are very affordable. They range from $6 to $12. Our eyeshadow palettes are $12. Our blush palettes are $10. Our liquid lipsticks and lip glosses are $6. Our bullet form lipsticks are $8. And our, our foundation, <clears throat> excuse me, our foundations are $10. And our setting powders are $8. So go ahead, check us out and let me know what you think. So again, here's our final look, hopefully 40 plus club approved. Now we're about to get on this road to Lafayette, Louisiana for this pop-up shop. So with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.